Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday, the beginning of the week, so you already know what I got for you guys. Another episode of This Week in Hype is here. This week, we definitely don't have a lot of stuff to cover, man. For some reason, it's just been like a really quiet past couple of weeks. That being the reason why I haven't given you guys one of these episodes, to be honest. Um, this week, I didn't want to let yet another week go by and me not give you guys one of these episodes. So I said, why not? Let me just accumulate the stuff that we do have to cover and just throw it in this video. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Specifically this week, we do have a couple of pretty good sneaker releases. We also have a pretty interesting looking Supreme collaboration as well. So once again, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, if you guys do enjoy watching any of my videos, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, do not leave without hitting that like button either. It definitely helps your brother out. It helps the channel out tremendously and getting the channel more eyes and more recognition. So please take a second and do that for the boy. I would really, really appreciate it. But enough of that, man. Enough of that jibber jab. But let's get into the video. Without further ado, welcome to another episode of This Week in Hype. All right, all right, let's do this. Let me scoot over, give you guys some space to see these photos. Let's kick things off with a weekend recap like we always do. This past weekend, there were three notable releases that come to my mind. There might have been more, but to be honest, I was only going for these three releases. One of them being the Nike Dunk High Spartan Greens. Um, obviously, those are extremely fire, man. Super unfortunate that just the trend with Nike Dunks, these were also extremely limited. On Nike sneakers, obviously, I don't have to tell you guys, I struck out. I think I'm shooting like 2% from the field on Nike sneakers this year. It's actually tragic. Um, I was able to pick up a pair on Undefeated though that I am super excited about. Shout out the monitors in my Discord group. I guess I was just at the right place at the right time. I'm definitely excited to get those in considering those are also my size. I wish they weren't my size because now I'm gonna have a tough time letting them go. But as soon as I get those in, you guys are gonna see them on the channel, so definitely stay tuned for that as well. Also, this past weekend, we did see another release for yet another Kobe 5 Pro Tro. This was a player exclusive, what they're calling the Zebra colorway, but this was also a DeMar DeRozan PE. Um, somehow, some way, I was also able to hit on a pair of those as well on Foot Locker. I guess Kobe is just looking out for the boy, man. I'm definitely super stoked to get those in. I cannot wait for another release that we're getting later this week. I'm gonna be discussing that later in this video, so stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, shout out to you guys. If you were also able to scoop up a pair of these, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be enjoying those as well. Lastly, to round out the weekend, we did see the release of the Air Jordan 3 Fragments. That was unfortunately a release that I did strike out on. I don't really know what I could have done different, to be honest. Nike sneakers just doesn't fuck with me. And all of the raffles that I filled out or all the places that dropped on first come for serve, I just didn't hit on. So it is what it is. I'll be all right. I'm not really going to be too pressed on that. Again, if you guys walked away, with a W, congratulations on that as well. But let's get into some of these upcoming releases. Like I told you guys, this week we do have a pretty good week of releases. Let's kick things off with the 22nd of September, that being tomorrow, Tuesday, if you guys are watching this video when I drop it. We are set to get yet another pair of Nike Dunk Highs. This is the Michigan colorway. I believe the pair that dropped last week was the Michigan State colorway. I might be getting those mixed up. If you guys know for certain, please let me know in the comment section below. But these are also extremely fire. I hope that I can go ahead and complete the set by copying this one tomorrow. But to be honest, the likelihood of me copying a pair at all, let alone in my size, is extremely slim. Again, let's hope that we can walk away with a W. Again, that is tomorrow, the 22nd, another pair of Nike Dunk Highs. Also, this week on the 25th, we do have yet another collaboration coming out with Jound. Um, this time around, though, instead of a pair of New Balances, they're giving us a pair of Reebok Classic Club C's. Um, these, in my opinion, are pretty dope. The only thing that can go wrong with Jound collaborations is that they're extremely limited, which means a lot of us are going to take some pretty good L's. Um, judging by how the last pair of New Balances that they dropped went, these are going to be almost impossible to cop. I'm pretty sure the only place that they're going to drop is on the Jound website, which which is uh, not the greatest website to be honest. It's definitely not the greatest. But I do wish you guys the best if you guys are going for these. For, for some reason, I don't know why, John collaborations just go for a lot of money, which means resellers are gonna be out here. Everybody is just gonna try to cop a pair of these just to flip it. So if you guys are going for these, I wish you guys the best of luck. Once again, that is on the 25th of this month. 
Also, this coming week, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we are set to get yet another Kobe 5 Pro Tro. This is yet another PE, a PJ Tucker PE. Um, this has been circulating on Instagram and on Twitter for quite some time now. I'm happy that it's actually coming out. Um, this, I hope that I'm able to cop it because this one, to be honest, if I'm gonna pick my favorite out of all the Kobe 5s, this is probably it. I'm only saying that strictly based on the design and the colorway of the shoe. This, I hope that I can pick one up. I know I've had a lot of luck with Kobe's over the past couple weeks and months. Hopefully my luck can continue on with, uh, you know, with this model right here. But uh, again, let's hope these are going to be also extremely limited. Obviously, people are just going for these because they know that they can make a quick buck on them. Hopefully, I'm able to cop these because I would really like to add these to my collection. But again, that is on the 25th, another Kobe 5 Pro Gym. Also, on the 25th, damn, the 25th is shaping up to be a pretty packed day for releases, man. Crazy, but we are also supposed to be getting another pair of Bodega and New Balance 997s. These are what they're calling the Better Days pair. Um, in my opinion, these are pretty dope. I'm not gonna say that I'll go for these for personal because I I, I don't know. There's something about them that's just throwing me off. I can't understand that there's a lot of people out there who are feeling these and who would like to copy these for personal. For those of you guys out there who are, good luck to you guys because these are definitely not gonna be an easy grab. Again, just like past Bodega collaborations, these are going to fly off the site. So I hope you guys are there. Probably gonna drop at 10 a.m. on the Bodega website. So please be there. Do not sleep on that because I would hate for you guys to miss out on that but once again that is on the 25th rounding out the week on the 26th we are set to get a pretty interesting pair of nike sb dunk highs this is a collaboration with atlas skateboards these are what they're calling the lost at sea sbs um in my opinion this is super super fire I have no idea how you can go about copying a pair of these. I'm pretty sure it's going to be raffles on raffles on raffles if they're not exclusive to Atlas Skateboards. If they are, then I guess you guys just, I don't know, throw a coin in a wishing well and hope to God that you can actually pick up a pair. Uh, me, I'm not holding my breath that I'll pick up a pair. If I do walk away with one, thank you, I'll definitely take them. But um, yeah, Fire SBs, yet another one that most of us are not gonna be able to cop, but it is what it is. Good luck to you guys if you guys are going for this as well. Uh, moving on, let's discuss this big trash of the week. I know this week is just not a lot going on. It's probably gonna be a shorter video than normal, but this right here, man, are you guys ready for this, man? I am I can tell you for certain I was not ready. When I scrolled past this on Sneaker News, I had to like triple take to see if I was actually seeing it correctly, bro. This right here is a Jordan Spizike 270 boot. Bruh, I can honestly tell you guys that I never in my life thought I would use those three words to describe one model, bro. This is crazy, man. Whoever at Jordan Brand was like, yo, let's bring back the Spizike model. People love those. People fuck with those heavy, bro. They're gonna buy that. No, you should lose your job ASAP, bro. These are not it. Ain't nobody buying these. Please do not tell me that there's more colorways dropping either because I would just lose my mind, yo. If there's anybody out there who is actually contemplating picking these up, you need help. You need to let me know first why because there has to be something that you're seeing that I'm not, but you seriously need help, bro. These are trash. Ain't nobody copping these. Please, please, please stay away from these. But that is Big Trash of the Week, guys. Again, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, moving on, let's get into some of these upcoming releases. This was a model that I'm actually extremely hype about, man. This, I got tagged left and right over the weekend, and to be honest, it was just hard to believe, man. This right here is a pair of Air Jordan 4 Lightning. These are set to release next year in August 2021 which to be honest is probably the biggest downside of this model i honestly cannot believe that we're getting them again man i cannot wait again i'm gonna go ahead and cop four pairs of these these are fire man i'm pretty sure all you jordan heads out there all you jordan foreheads are probably agreeing with me when i say that um it just sucks we're gonna have to wait a little while for them but i don't care as long as we actually get them again that is another pair of lightning air jordan fours um, also, we are set to get another pack pretty soon, I think. This is a Human Race NMD pack from Pharrell and Adidas. Um, I say I think because I don't really know the release procedure for these. I know that over the weekend we were supposed to get the extra eye pack, but I don't know if those dropped and they just didn't make any noise. 
I don't really know. These are probably not going to be on my radar, to be honest. The days of just me chasing human race NMDs are long gone. If you guys are in need of pairs and you are filling any of these right here, go ahead and pick them up. I honestly cannot tell you when they're going to come out. I would just say keep your eyes peeled, keep your eyes open, because I'm pretty sure that we'll get a release pretty soon. Uh, moving on, we do have some Yeezys to discuss. As always, there is no This Weekend Hype, but I'll discuss some Yeezys. First up, we do have a pair of Carbons coming out on the 2nd of October. These were formerly called the As Real 350s. I'm not really sure why they changed the name. I will say that Carbon 1 is a much better name than the As Reals, and 2, they actually do resemble some type of like what I would consider to be Carbon. Um, these are pretty dope in my opinion, like I said during my video where I discussed the top releases of September. These were delayed. They were originally supposed to come out in September. Now coming out in October, I will say that these are pretty dope. I can expect these to sell out pretty quickly and I also could expect these to have a little bit of resale as well. If you guys are out there and you're still chasing 350s, these are not a bad pair to go ahead and cop. Me personally, obviously, I don't have to say it. I'm probably going to pass on them. But if you guys are interested in these, I would say look out for these as well. Also, we did get a first look at another pair of 350s from Easy. This was the Abel as reflective um i don't really know when these are coming out i probably do know but honestly with all the 350s coming out i kind of lose track of the release dates um these in my opinion they're nothing crazy they look like another five pairs of 350s that we've gotten in the past um again if you guys are interested in these i guess you guys can look forward to these the only thing that i guess we can be excited for is the fact these are coming out in a reflective model um i can't say that i'm gonna lose my mind if i don't cop but it is something to look forward to so if you guys want to i guess keep your eyes open for that as well Lastly, in the world of sneakers, we did get some pretty unfortunate news of a delayed collaboration, that being the Union and Jordan brand collaboration, which I have right here. These were originally set to release at least worldwide on the 30th of September. It is now being delayed until the middle of October. I believe the exact release date is the 16th of October. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, these right here are uh, definitely bringing a lot of attention these i believe like everybody has their own take on them i've been on record multiple times saying that these are not my favorite they're pretty eh, in my opinion but these are going for a lot of money which will bring everybody out so again if you guys are interested in these just stay tuned for them you don't really have to wait that much longer it's only like another two weeks which is definitely not the end of the world um, if you guys are interested in these for personal, just hold off on paying resale just yet. I know you're going to have to wait just a little while longer to see if you can pick up a pair for retail, but I'm pretty sure that once the World War release drops, these are going to drop in price a pretty good amount, so you can probably save yourself a good amount of dollars as well. Um, again though, the 16th, not the end of the world, I would just say stay tuned for that again as well. But that is pretty much it for sneakers, let's talk about some streetwear real quick. In the world of Supreme, week 5 was just announced and we are supposed to be getting a Joel Peter Wicken collaboration. I'm not even going to front with you guys, I have no idea who that is. I will say that these pieces kind of give me the creeps though. Um, I probably won't be chasing any of these pieces, especially considering the Yoji collaboration, I picked up a shit ton of stuff. I'm actually still waiting for some of those pieces to arrive. Um, but to be honest, I'm not really feeling these. You guys can let me know if you guys are feeling any of the pieces down below. Um, also, in the world of Supreme, we did get some pretty big, big news of another box logo t-shirt coming out. This being some long sleeve t-shirts. I never thought that we'd get some long sleeve box logo t-shirts from Supreme. It's actually pretty surprising, man. Um, I hope that these come out pretty soon because I would love to pick one of those up for personal. I would love to just have it for the archives. Um, let me know what you guys think about them. Let me know if you guys are stoked to get some more box logos. I think this season we're set to get like three or four box logos, which is crazy. Box logo season is upon us. I hope you guys are ready. But that is pretty much it, guys, for this week. Let me know what you guys thought about what we discussed. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments section below please drop a like for your boy it'll definitely be appreciated as well i hope you guys enjoyed it once again i appreciate you guys until next time peace